Hey guys, if you want to see how I got these beautiful knotless braids on this lace front wig, keep watching. They are so pretty, lightweight, and beautiful. Ooh, hey y'all. Y'all see me listening? <laughs> it is hot outside. Um, but I put off things long enough. I need to go ahead and get this braided wig started. So I snatched this from um, Sally's. I know this is not my wig color. I grabbed one of these. Also grabbed some Shining Jam. And this is Ghost Bond XL. I use colors 350, 24, 27, 30, and 613 by the brand Expression. Okay, y'all. So I separated the front from the back. So this is the lace up here. I made sure I pinned down the parameter really good because I don't have a I don't have a stationary um, mannequin to braid off of, so I'm literally gonna be sitting this between my legs braiding it and then I might finish the ends like I'll put the wig on and finish the ends but starting them off I'm gonna braid with the center to my legs so boom so I got this sectioned off got the baby hairs braided here and then this is the front part of the frontal it's the lace up here and then because this is a lace front um here's where the track starts so I also put I folded an additional track into this part so that the braids will blend, okay? And this is the back of the hair. You know, like, you talk to you talk to them like, hey, what's going on? Like, you talk to them in passing. But there's not like an intimate, close connection. Like, there's no depth. It's really superficial, right? It's really on the surface. Your relationship is real basic, right? It's Okay, y'all. Oh, I thought my voice was gonna sound super crunchy. I don't sound as crunchy as I thought I was about to. Cause I've been sitting here braiding all morning and I haven't really been talking. So I thought it was gonna be like, that was gonna sound like a grown man. But y'all look how good that looks. Let me step towards the light. Or rather put the light behind me, okay. Look how good that looks so far. So this is what I did, right? So. The braids at the bottom, and I'm gonna go through and show y'all more detail, but the braids at the bottom are a little bigger. They're a little, the parts are a lot smaller too. But as I got toward the top, I made the parts a little bigger. So you see how I got like four braids in this row? At the bottom row, I probably got like six to seven, six to eight braids. But I wanted to um, space it out as I got to the top simply because of the tracks in the back. And I just wanna, super guarantee that you won't be able to see my tracks when I wear this wig. You feel what I'm saying? So, and I like that I did that. This is also my first time. And then I'm going to finish the ends at the end. I find that it, it was taking longer for me to like braid it all the way down. So, um, what was I about to say? Oh, this is my first time doing this wig or doing this style with the knotless so the braids really just got better as I went and I didn't mind that at all. So they're not all the same size. I don't care about that at all either. I just really like the color. So yeah, I'm about to take a break because burnout is a real thing. But look how much I got left. I told myself I was gonna finish the back and then when it's time to work on the frontal part, that's when I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break and then work on that. So I'm done with the back. I'm about to take a two or three hour break just to refresh myself and then I'll finish the front and then we'll be good to go. Hey y'all, so this is day two. Let me cut this off. I'm watching Burning Man. Pause. Okay, so this is day two. I've been doing really well. Like I'm almost done in terms of like putting the braids in. I still have to braid the ends and um do the hot water thing, all that. But in terms of installing the braids. We're almost done. So now, as you can see, I'm at the front of the lace. So this is the part 
where the lace ends and the track start. So if you can see, let me see if I can get a little zoom in for y'all. If you can see, boom, okay? So what I did was I took some hair from the front of the lace just to cover the track right here. Just so the transition can be smooth, child. Okay? So, boom. So, what am I doing? Okay. So, now, I already put some jam on it, but I'm going to put a little bit more. And this jam really, at first I thought I wasn't going to need it because I'm like, well, I'm doing, I'm doing this on the wig, so I don't think I'm going to really need it. But, no, it's definitely helped. Um, so I'm going to separate it into three. Now, up, up top, when you get like towards the top, you don't want to braid tight. Like, don't do that. Okay? And we're going to slick this back down, so don't worry about that either. You don't want to braid tight. You want to braid real loose. Like, you won't even see me squeezing for real. You're just going to see me braiding. I wish I could see how I'm leaning to the side trying to braid to show y'all. Hold on. Let me just braid a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So, you see how I just braided it? I didn't pull it at all. The reason why you want to do that is because if you pull it tight to braid, you're going to shrink the cap. Like if I pulled every braid really, really tight because within this braid, it's like two different tracks within it, right? And between the tracks is the cap. And so if I were to squeeze it tight, it would shrink the distance between the, the tracks which in total makes the wig smaller so you don't want to do that especially if this is your size and you got a big head so just make sure you don't do that so boom now when i was braiding in the back i would just braid a little bit and then i would start adding hair as i got closer to the front i started braiding down more than adding hair simply just because i kind of wanted to maintain or wanted them all to be the same length okay and also yeah, I'm telling you, there are there are amazing videos to watch on how to do feed-in braids. This is not the one. <laughs> do you hear me? This is not the one. Um, I'm really just showing you what's possible. That it's possible to do feed-in braids on your lace front wig. That's all you need to know, child. That it's possible. I'm here to show you the possibilities. Because anything other than that, you're going to be like, Tia, but, but what's that? And I can't, I, it's some things I just can't explain to you, child. And I'm learning myself. So, like I said, it's some people on here who do an amazing job of explaining what to do when you feed in the braids. I mean, the hair. So here I'm going in with the shining gem and I'm just making sure that I put it around the parameter and in between each part. The lace front is the most important part because it's the part that looks like the scalp. So you want to treat this like you would actual knotless braids. So I'm going in with my edge brush um, and the comb and I'm just smoothing this out so that the braids lay flat. Because again, these are knotless, these are not box braids. And look how effortless that looks, it looks so sleek. And I'm done. I'm finally done, y'all. It took me a day and a half to do this, but I won't lie. I really could have got this done in a day if I didn't take breaks, but the burnout is real, so I advise you to take breaks when you're doing this. Um, but here's the finished look. Beautiful. I wanted to show y'all the back so you can see if you can see the tracks or not. 
Um, I was real strategic in how I placed the braids and parted. So make sure you do the same thing. The brick layer method is the same for the wig as well. Um, and look how beautiful it is. I did the hot water method for the ends because I like that boho look. I don't like stuff to look too perfected. I love that edgy look, but by all means, you can braid yours all the way down to the end if that's your zhuzh. Um, I also did the dramatic baby hairs on here. I wanted to do that because this look was for a photo shoot. And to be honest, if I didn't have a photo shoot, I probably still would have did it. I just thought it would be really cute, especially for like that bohemian look. If you like that look, then you're gonna love um, this style of braids. I haven't even decorated them yet, and I'm gonna do some turquoise strings on here. I'm gonna do some beads. I'm gonna do um, just, and I'm gonna decorate it as I go. I never like fully decorate once I first do the hair, because it, it doesn't feel authentic. It's just like, as you go, you're gonna find something like, ooh, this looks so pretty in my wig or in my hair. So I love this look, y'all. It's so feminine. It's so beautiful. If you're like me and you love those sun kissed colors like color 350, which is like a copper, um, honey blonde, those 27, 613, this is the perfect blend of that to me. I did not blend the colors together. I literally just took a little bit out of a bundle, did a braid. So I did the individual braids in individual colors. I did not blend the hair. I just want to make that clear. But you can if you want to. Um, it just came out so good y'all and the the wig you can tell you have braids but it's not heavy heavy um so i don't want to say like you can't feel the difference between having a braided wig on you definitely can but it's not like you don't feel like your neck's gonna break <laughs> so thank y'all for watching i'll see you next time